Hi, today we're going to go hands-on with the pretty cool uh, Lenovo Yoga Book. Uh, basically, it looks like a small notebook. It's really well designed with this watch band hinge. It's very sleek, very solid, uh, very thin, about a pound and a half. But its most unique feature, aside from the clamshell design, which is sort of like a tablet with a built-in keyboard, is what they call the Create Pad. So this is kind of a triple threat. The Create Pad can do several different things. First of all, it's a tablet that you can write on. Basically, it has uh, full, full Wacom support, so I can write in all my applications. I can draw. It's pressure sensitive, so it's a full Wacom device, like an Intuos Bamboo or a uh, regular tablet. And it's very responsive and very quick. Now, what's different from between this and most of the Wacom enabled tablets you've seen is that the uh, drawing surface isn't the display, it's actually a separate pad, more like an independent um, tablet that a graphic artist might use. That has one disadvantage, which is you can't always see exactly where you're writing or just use it like a tablet, and a couple of advantages. One is your palm never gets in the way because it's down here. Uh, the other one is that the screen can be very thin. The Wacom technology takes a little depth. So by being very thin, the tracking can be especially accurate because there's less parallax effect than you would get with integrating the touch into the screen. Uh, so that's the first thing you can do with it. The second thing you can do is if you um, press this button here that changes its mode, you can see the outline of a keyboard show up on it. Now, they call this a Halo keyboard. Um, it's cute, and it's very sensitive and works well for what it does. Um, but unfortunately, because it's not physical, you can't really put your fingers on it um, to rest them anywhere to see where the keys are the way you can on a regular keyboard. So if you're a hunt and peck typist, that's perfectly fine and it keeps your keyboard off the display, which is nice because otherwise the Android keyboard fills up half the display. Uh, but if you're a, a touch typist, then you really can't take full advantage of it, or I have not been able to. I sort of need to look at the keys. So it's neat. It's a nice feature to add on, uh, but it's not really a replacement for a physical keyboard, even a Surface Pro keyboard for anybody who types a lot. Now the third thing you can do, which is fairly unique, is a little bit like with LiveScribe. You can actually put paper on here and replace the pen tip. And this process of replacing the pen tip isn't the simplest one. You put your cap on the back and pull it off like this. There we go. And then you take an ink tip that you get three of with the unit and stick that in and push it in until it clicks. And now if I write, you can see that what I'm writing is showing up over here. And I think I can make this full screen. Yeah. So you can see that what I'm writing is showing up on the screen in the default NoteSaver app. Now I can also use this ink in other applications, but the NoteSaver is unique because I can add new pages just by pressing the button and it knows about the what I'm doing. Um, I can also use it even if I can't see the screen. I can actually flip it all the way around and just use it like a, a notepad as long as I have it turned on and have the pen icon activated. So I can use it just like a little physical reporter's notebook. Um, I am not a big fan of all these different little note-taking apps because they tend to come and go and your notes get locked into them. So I prefer OneNote um, from Microsoft since it's now on so many different platforms. But um, So this will work with OneNote, but you have to do all your own page management. And what's kind of funny is I can change the pen color on there, but of course I only get the ink, ballpoint pen ink here. Uh, so I can make a colorful drawing digitized and a, a drawing here. This is very similar to what you can do with LiveScribe, although this pen is much more comfortable than my LiveScribe pen. It's much, it's much nicer, it's thinner and easier to use. So uh, it has a certain attraction to it. So that's the triple threat of the Create Pad on the Yoga Book, which is certainly its most unique feature.
that I wanted to show you today. And this, you can use any paper you want, but it does ship with a pad that's magnetized. And that's a good thing because if the paper shifts around, of course, then your drawing isn't going to line up with what's on the screen perfectly. So you want to keep the, the paper kind of in the same place. The other issue I have with it is there's no easy way to store this pen. It, it can be magnetically attached to the back of the tablet, but that's a very loose connection. And even harder to store are these little ink refills, which are really easy to lose. So um, I kind of wish they provided some way to get all this organized. They, they do sell a case for the unit, which I don't have, but then of course it gets a little bigger and it's not quite as sleek. 